silent in French, do not say Denis, but rather Denis Villeneuve. So while promoting the next Dune movie, a uh, legendary film director behind Blade Runner 2049, Arrival, Sicario, Prisoners, among others, Denis Villeneuve, I, sh I just can't bring myself to say it right. Like literally when I look at it, I see Denis Villeneuve. The Denis part is easy, but I, I had to look up like a guy saying it. Villeneuve. Villeneuve. I'm the same person that once called Joaquin Phoenix Jacquois, but uh, yeah, forget it. Um, so he recently came out while promoting the next Dune movie and uh, said, frankly, I hate dialogue. Dialogue is for theater and television. The full quote is, um, frankly, I hate dialogue. Dialogue is for theater and television. I don't remember movies because of a good line. I remember movies because of a strong image. I'm not interested in dialogue at all, pure image and sound. That is the power of cinema, but it is something not obvious when you watch movies today. He goes on to say, movies have been corrupted by television. Describing his ideal situation, the Dune director said, in a perfect world, I'd make a compelling movie that doesn't feel like an experiment, but does not have a single word in it either. People would leave the cinema and say, wait, there was no dialogue, but they won't feel the lack. So I haven't seen the full interview and there's been some controversy around it. Um, I haven't even looked much into all of the both sides, but I shared it on my Instagram story and then got some feedback from some writer friends of mine and they weren't really happy with it. And I totally understand why um, dialogue is crucial to film. Like I truly believe cinema is great because of the interweave of everything. But from my perspective, I see exactly where he's coming from, where, you know, TV is the new film like that's how the industry has kind of changed more original shows are being created more shows in general are being created than movies and apart from like our legendary film directors we don't get that many films a year uh, specifically ones that are really visual heavy um, Dune is going to be one of those so obviously he's promoting that but coming from somebody with a film background in cinematography um, I see the world visually you know, and so like things that came to my mind right away were, you know, the monologue in the original Blade Runner movie. Um, I can't remember specific lines from that, but I remember the visual of, of the guy standing there in the rain. And then another one that's famous is when Darth Vader says to Luke, spoiler alert, I guess, uh, no, I am your father. Yeah, that's a legendary line. But people literally forget the line and think it's Luke, I am your father. But what'll never really leave your mind is the image, you know, of Darth Vader standing over Luke as he's like, you know, trying to get away with no hand. So I'm kind of on both sides. You know, some of my favorite movies are the Before Trilogy. And that's, those are so dialogue heavy. I mean, the second movie completely rests on the the delivery of the line at the end and it's beautiful and so it, this, like films are such a broad spectrum of ideas and of like just storytelling like the medium changes so much so one side of me is like 100 percent on board with this idea that like with what denise says that like television has corrupted movies i haven't watched enough television or enough films to really kind of dig deep into this but I can kind of comment on what I found like just being inter interested in the film and television industry and that's you know for TV TV is run by writers you know the showrunners are writers first um, and whereas films are run by directors um, and directors job is to basically visually take the script a lot of times they can be involved in the writing but they or someone else wrote it, but they, they take the script and they turn it into visual representation of that script. Uh, whereas in TV, and, and normally the film is like an hour and a half, two hours. In Dune's case, it's going to be like the total story will come out to at least four hours or so. Um, but where television, it has 10 hours to, to tell a story. Um, but also sometimes like budgets are the same, so you have to really compress your shooting schedules to try to tell a 10 hour story over the same period that you would uh, a film's trying to do a two hour story. So there is less emphasis on the visuals. You have 10 episodes 
over a certain period of time. So you're using multi-camera setups, you're using rotating sets. And so I'm not necessarily saying that television can't do this. It definitely can. Like the first thing that obviously comes to my mind is Game of Thrones, which is visually stunning. Stranger Things, visually stunning. There's so many more. Um, that really do it. Even shows that are more dialogue heavy are able to like stick within people's minds, but it's not the same. Now it's kind of like transitioning into like what TV, TV is the new film and YouTube is the new TV. And there's not as much emphasis on cinematography as a visual language. And I think that part is key because films are trying to tell a story in two hours. So there's a lot of subtext built into the shots that also align and help tell that story. The same thing is in TV, but lesser so because you have more time with the characters to send them through these different arcs. And yeah, so I think at the core, I would love to hear Denis go deeper into this idea. Um, I'm sure he could talk for hours about what he means. And so this is great to like get some controversy out there, promote the new movie, of course, but I think it's going to be really interesting to see where everything goes over the next couple of years, where cinema goes over the next decade, two decades, because now with AI, some of the visuals that were once really difficult to capture can almost be brought to life with a text prompt. So then it reverses the idea that like you might be one day, the visuals might be reliant on the words you type in. Um, yeah, that's interesting. But at the end of the day, I believe that cinema is at its best when everything interweaves together. But this topic is definitely an interesting one. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see more things come out about it. I'm also excited to see Dune Part 2 because hopefully the visuals live up to the first one, which was beautiful. If you have a perspective, share it in the comments. I'd love to talk about this. And, of course, I'll be following along with the discourse on this as it as it goes. Thanks.